Good morning. Time for me to do my morning routines, as you know. Open up all the blinds. Get all the light in. <sighs> Natural lighting is best, and it saves money. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go for a walk. Just for a little walk. So, I have committed to um, getting my body right and getting my life right, specifically with my body. And part of that is going for walks one day and then run to the next day. And that's my goal. Uh, and my uh, choice of um, activity and that's to alternate days one day I'll walk one day I'll run and keep doing that but every night I'll do like calisthenics and push-ups sit-ups pretty much just that and jump rope I'll bring the rope outside and I'll do some jump roping and things like that I figured I'd just go for a walk around the block today. This is annoying. And then I gotta put it inside my shirt and it's cold. I wanna go over there. I wanna show you what's over here. As for me, I know I need to be careful, especially when it comes to these animals. Like I'm a city boy at heart, always will be a city boy at heart. So I don't want to be like, you know, um, getting mixed up with animals. Even this time of day, I'm afraid to come out because of the animals. Deer will just walk in the street right by you and not care that you're standing there. We used to be respected. We used to be revered. We used to be feared. Animals used to run. Now they come up to us and taking our sunflower seeds directly from our hands. And then when we get upset, they look back at us like, what, you got a problem? What has humanity come to? All right, back on my block. Got this walk in. And uh, today I want to talk to you guys about my YouTube journey and how I've been at this going on four years. And in four years, I was able to make it up to 850 subscribers. But I'm explaining to you why I'm doing YouTube and how I avoid getting discouraged because of the low viewers and low subscribers. I started YouTube because um, I thought of how was it that I would be able to connect? Or how was it that people that come after me, my family that come after me, how can they connect with me in, in a certain way after I'm no longer with them? Biscuits, biscuits. And I figured you know, YouTube may be a great way. Yeah? Like YouTube really does offer us all an opportunity to put content out there that is going to be out there forever. Now that can go either way. You put negative stuff out there, it's going to be out there forever. You put positive stuff out there, it'll be out there forever. I try to spend most of my time creating positive type content so that that's out there forever and encourage people. And I want my family to, my grandkids, my great grandkids and their kids and even their great grandkids to be able to archive or go into the family archive of videos and say, hey, that was like Grandpa Andre Harrison back in 2020 recording a video. And they could be watching this video in 2120. So I, and I've always tried my best to be a positive influence to whoever it is I come across, um, just to be positive. Like I, I appreciate positivity. 
and um, and I enjoy the opportunity to be a blessing in other people's life. I am by no means perfect. Don't pretend to be perfect. I have issues. I have problems. I have shortcomings. Um, but that's the beautiful thing about living this life. We don't have to be perfect. Um, we can strive for it, but there's always that grace that helps pick us up when we're not perfect, right? I lean on God for grace. I lean on the gift that he sent us through his son Jesus as a cushion for grace. Not a cushion that is like, well, I'm going to take this leap because I know I'm going to be saved. It's that I know I'm not perfect and I'm going to strive to live my life in, in two ways. To, to please God, to love God with all my heart, and to love people. Those are the two things I strive. That's all I want to do is love God and love people in a genuine way. I don't want to say I love God and mistreat people because, you know, uh, I love God more than I love people. On these two hang all of the law and all the prophets. They're one and the same. If you love God, you love God's people. If you love God's people, you have to love God. It goes either way. It's, 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 it's together. It's one. It's not one or the other. It's one. And I want to be able to come off, at least on camera, in a way that sort of communicates that. Not that I'm perfect, because I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen my in my non-perfect side. Um, like if I was to show you that sunroom right now that has become a in-house sort of shed, you would say, Dre, what's going on with you? But it'll be fixed soon. It'll, I promise it'll, it'll be done soon. But yeah, man, it's... That's why I started YouTube, just to be a blessing to people and to allow, um, to create a video archive of me and my kids growing up, uh, even in the future, uh, of, of me and my grandkids, if my children allow me to record my grandkids, uh, and create a video archive for um, my family that's going to come after me. That's why it's called Harrison Family Vlogs, because it's all about... Um, family positive content content that everybody can watch hopefully enjoy I'm not like the most entertaining guy out there but I try to entertain as well but that's the whole thing man that's, that's why I have this YouTube channel and that's why I'm on this YouTube journey and that's why I'm not quitting um, uh, I have honestly thought about like in, in the past how can I make this channel bigger and better you know uh, for a while I was following Casey Neistat very hard and um and even him he he got burnt out through the process and one thing i don't want to do is get burnt out i don't want to get um focused on numbers i don't want to get focused on trying to build subscribers even though i want to hit a, a thousand subscribers soon i want to if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't but uh, i've been on this journey for four years and i've i barely i'm, I'm like now approaching somewhat a thousand subscribers um, but that's not why i do it I appreciate every milestone, but I'm not milestone chasing. I just want to put up content and archive my life and my family so that my family that come behind me, they're able to see. Like I said, I wish I had videos and pictures of my family that came before me. Um, technology today allows it to happen for the family that comes after, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing with Harrison Family Vlogs. And that's my YouTube story. That's why I have YouTube. Um, some people do it because they want to do this full time. If I can do it, no, I probably would never do it full time because I enjoy teaching too much. But um, if I do, um, if it does grow, I want it to grow organically with people that would like to watch my content and who are actually interested in what I post. I don't want to go out around chasing things to record. Um, like you know looking for things that are trending and i'm not really interested in it i want my channel to be genuine and uh and i want my legacy to be able to connect with me this way and that's why i do youtube um four years in, i only have 850 something subscribers uh and uh it's grown a lot in the past in the past four months 
but like almost doubled in the past four months. But um, and I've been grinding lately um, and connecting with people in the community. But trust, YouTube is really about me sharing the realities about my life, the positive realities about my life, and connecting with you fine people. Um, that's my YouTube journey. That's why I'm on YouTube. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Click the like button. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so it'll notify you when I upload new videos. Got another video coming for you tomorrow at 3 p.m. All right, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, I'll probably talk a little bit tomorrow about my life as a single father. So see you guys tomorrow at 3 p.m. And until then, have a good day or good night or good morning, depending on what time of the day you watch this. Peace.